you had two green cheek conures. No, that's not a green cheek conure. And they were friends. They liked you. You liked them. <laughs> just, you know, just Julian flying by. And um, just Kailani there. Um, and you got a third green cheek conure. And they only fight with the third one. The two are males. The third one's female. What do you do? Hey guys, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parabolist Bond. Please be sure to get your copy on Amazon. This, like I said, is Kailani, my Catalina Macaw. If you want to get blissed out, if you want to figure out what you do when you have three conures and they get along like this, otherwise there's fights, stick around. If you already knew Kailani, you're used to hanging out. Thank you for being here. I love you guys. I appreciate your support. Ah! Speaking of your support, please be sure to like the video for me or comment. That really helps the juice. Or if there's information that really, really helps you, look for the super thanks. You can send like a coffee, a couple dollars. Anyway, let's get started. day in bliss. All right, so you have two green cheek conures that are boys that get along, and you added a third, a female, and all there is is fighting. Yes, when it comes to parrots, there are some species that are exceptions, but two is the magic number, three is the magic trouble <laughs> number. Oh, look at that, we've got ducks. The ducks are like, hey, I see birds, can you give me something? Okay, you have three, you didn't realize, and you're starting trouble. There are two options that I see. Number one, <clears throat> if I had River here, I'll throw a video of River and she's a cutie pie. Um, option number one is you are going to take on a pet, a bonded pet, a super duper bonded pet. Now, this is a pet who's going to lose its parrotness if it bonds to you and it doesn't have green cheeks that are nice to it that it gets along with. It's going to learn that its same species are a no, and it's going to learn that you or humans are a yes. Not ideal. But if you've got the three and you're keeping the three like that, that's what's gonna happen. These two are gonna bond more because you're gonna spend time with this one. It may not be exactly what you wanted, but that's option number one. Um, option number two, actually, maybe I'll put in a option number three. Option number three would be to rehome the girl because she doesn't, doesn't get along and she's fighting. You know, the, the two boys are fighting with her. Um, the other option is you've got three, go like this, get a fourth one. The fourth one will be friends with the girl. Now, the advantage to doing that, number one, now all four of them can bond with you, bond with each other. That shouldn't be a problem. So... You should be able to take all four out at the same time, but if not, you could take these two out, hang out with them, bond with them. They're bonded, they bond to you. You could take these two out, same thing happens. So you kind of have two different sets, or like I said, you should be able to let them all out, out at the same time. Now my hair is being done for me, thank goodness, because you know, I brushed it this morning, but obviously that wasn't good enough. Um, the other advantage to doing that is that it allows your girl to as in the third wheel, with that fourth wheel, it allows her to bridge the human world and the parrot world. So she gets to be a parrot while my hair gets done, and she also gets to bond with you. I really think that's the ideal thing. I would have three cages. One cage is just a backup. Um, the other two cages are for each pair. I'm assuming that they're all together, um, or you know, that they're caged together. And if you want to put the cages side by side, eventually you would be able to get to the point where you could put all four in a cage if the cage is big enough. Don't forget, whatever size cage you decided is appropriate for your green cheek conure, which hopefully is the ring span twice in depth, three times in width, and twice in height. Um, when you add another one, the second conure, now the space increases. If you add three more conures, now the space really increases. So you would need a big cage. But 
Um, maybe you want a big cage, maybe you don't want a big cage. Hey, Ursulus, come here, you wanna say hi? Since, since Kailani left me, come here. You're also not a conure, but you could be in my video. Yeah, because people like to see parrots. Hello, baby, how are you? Can I have a kiss? Oh, thank you for the kiss, good boy. You're such a good boy. You are such a good boy. So those are the two options, uh, or the three options. I, if you're able, I would go for the option where I have four Conyers. Um, the, and you know, it is possible to keep the three, put them, the two boys in one cage. It's just, it might be tough. Um, if the two boys have bonded and they've already been together for a long time, it depends on how long they've been together. You know, when they're young, it's easier for them to come back and bond. When they're adults and stuff, it's harder. Uh, you could put them cage by cage and eventually all three might get along, but you know, it's just not necessarily ideal. Eh, Conyers like to bond in twos. It's not impossible, but I think that your other options are better options. So there you go. Magic numbers two. You, you know, there are some species that are communal and they don't just go into pairs. And so with them, you can have three and it's not a problem. There are some species that are independent, like Indian ringnecks. Generally speaking, they're hard to put with other Indian ringnecks or other parrots. They don't really get along. Um, it's not impossible, but my Indian ringneck, for example, she's typical and she makes friends with no birdie. So, um, I mean, you know, she'll tolerate some birds and there's, she has some friends, but it's kind of like a long distance relationship. She wants her friendships at a distance, not close by. Not like this, like this. So with green tree conures, they are social, but, um, and they will totally socialize with you. We're exceptions, we're interesting, we're different. We can love them, we can take care of them, we can do cool things. So they like us when it comes to green tree conures, but, um, but three's tough, three's really tough. Oh, thanks for the kiss. Don't eat my earrings. Okay. Um, if you're curious about whether or not my earrings survive, make sure you watch tomorrow's video. If not, please be sure to comment and um, post any questions below. Again, a thumbs up or uh, a thumbs up and comment is always fantastic. If you want to chat even more, get more into my inner circle, so to speak, the inner feather circle, the inner flock, um, check out the YouTube membership. The link is in the description. And then I'll catch you in the next feather video. Do that. Do it. Ready? Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. How do you make him do it? Boop, boop, boop. Round about. Woo. Oh. <laughs> I'll take it. Catch you next time.